Okay, uh, I'm Ben Chapman, and welcome back to my channel. This is the Unreal C++ series. Uh, this is the first one I'm doing in this series. It's going to be logging with uh, UE Log. Um, pretty standard stuff. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to log um, some of just some of the standard data types that we're going to run into. Um, and then we're also going to create a custom log category. So that way we can identify um, what we're trying to log and where it's coming from, that sort of thing. So should be a pretty easy tutorial. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here we are in Unreal. Uh, we're ready to do some logging. So uh, what I did before I started this video is I kind of created myself a little test environment that I'm going to be able to use. So I've got a map. And then I've got a game mode and a player controller because we're going to use the player controller to drive our logging function. So if you need to pause the video and set yourself up with a game mode using a specific player controller, feel free to do so. I'm going to go ahead and hop over to um, Visual Studio and get started. So the first thing we really need is we need the function itself so that way we can you know call it up. So we're going to go u function and then e x e c for executable that'll allow us to pull this up in the uh, editor hit tilde and then call our function we can do that from the player controller and the um, uh, game instance um, i'll think i'll do a video on that later more specifically like a little quick blurb <clears throat> so anyway so we need a function we're gonna it doesn't need to return anything so it's void and then uh, we'll just name it my my log, yeah, my log. So uh, there's a lot of other functions um, in Unreal for debugging for logging. So that's what my will help pull it up earlier. Okay, so let's uh, see your a logging. You can see my log. So now I have a function. Okay, so now I can do some logging. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to do a simple log message. Nothing fancy. Just just uh, we log. Okay, the first thing it's going to want is the category name. Uh, we're going to do a custom category after we set up our, you know, a few of these. So this is, uh, so we'll do um, log temp. That's one of the standard ones that come with Unreal. And then the verbosity level, uh, we'll start with an error. And then it's text and whatever we want to say. So my log. Okay. So this will pop up and say my log is called. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll we'll run. We'll hit this in debug, or we'll start without debugging. Let it load up in the editor, and then I'll show you it working. And then we'll go into more details of the, you know, verbosity levels and so on and so forth. Okay, so now we can hit play, hit tilde, my log, and then it should be have logged. Now if we go to our log output, that's one place we can find this information. You can see here we called the command, and then here it is, our log temp error my log called now we can also find it if we go to the project file or project folder so let me pull up mine okay right here and then we go down to saved and logs and right here here is our log so if we go all the way down to the bottom of that we should see the log that we just did so that's right here so that's a simple log. There's nothing fancy to that at all. Um, close down the editor. And then I can add some, we can do some more stuff. Okay, so I guess let's just start from left to right. So the category is is the, the category name for that um, log. Uh, we used log temp. So why don't we go ahead and um, set up a custom one right now. All right, so what we can do is we can go to our .h 
uh, for our player controller, and we can go to player log uh, category extern. Okay, so then we give it a name. So let's do player controller. Okay, because it's coming from the player controller, so that's where we want to you know, say. And then it's default verbosity. Uh, why don't we make this uh, its default be verbose? And then we will say compile time verbosity. Uh, let me also make that verbose. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so we have that declared. Now we have to define it. So we go back over to the CPP file. Uh, log category yeah. all right player controller okay now that's good now we can use that so now we can go in here and we can change this to player controller there it is at log category so now it'll say player controller when it logs now, uh, one thing to note with the verbosities is what the verbosities do, uh, it's not just for coloring. Like, so like, you'll see, like, you know, some people do their videos and they, you know, like, you know, they, you know, because, like, uh, error is red, warning is yellow, and then log is just, you know, your standard gray color. So, um, the, there's a little bit more to it than that. Um, so the verbosity levels are, um, fatal which crashes the session that's the lowest verbosity level um i generally don't use fatal um i don't know if anybody with more experience um wants to drop in the comments that you know yeah i use fatal for this and it makes a lot of sense i don't know i haven't seen it yet uh the next level up is error then warning uh display log verbose and very verbose so what that's going to affect is where it's printed and um how uh we're gonna do or how, where it is printed and um at what level so you can go into the um INAI file for the um game and or for the engine and you can change what level it's gonna pop out at so like if you want to like you know i don't want this level of of logging to go in there it will uh, it will go by equal to or lower will will get put in but anything um above it will not if i remember correctly um let me double check make sure i'm saying the right thing so uh, uh anything more verbose will not be logged yeah so i got it right there so so that is what we have going on there and i think i'm going to change this because i would rather it uh, i want it to display um, by default so I'm going to change this to log and log. Okay, so I got log and log. There you go. Good pull up just for, just fine. All right. And then let me go ahead and build that. Make sure I didn't make it mad because I could have done that. I've got, I've got red squigglies. No, it worked fine. Those are uh, false squiggles. Okay, so that's the basic just there. All right, which is great. You know, I can, you know, log, I have colors, I can, you know, have my custom um, log category. But what I really want to be able to do is, you know, put something meaningful in my log. So, you know, I want to be able to display different variables. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, um, you know, some standard issue variables. And then we're going to go ahead and throw them in the log. And, and that will, will help with that. So... Obviously, we need some variables to work with, so view property, and then we'll make it real wide open, edit anywhere, blue, press, read, write. Okay, and then it's going to do this a couple of times, I'll just copy that, and then uh, this wants to be open too. There you go. So, I could put that below, but whatevs. All right, so let's start with uh, a float. Okay, my float. I'll make it equal to 1.5. Okay, and then we're going to do an int. My int. 
Uh, yeah, 42. Okay. And then we've got a float and an int. And then the next thing I probably I would want to do is like a boolean. Uh, e my bool. Let's make it equal to false. And then how about an f vector? Because an f vector is something you would use pretty regularly. So let's see here. F vector. And we'll do my vector it's equal to uh, and then we'll just set that to uh, one two dot o and three dot o. Just have some values in there. Okay, so we've got that, and uh, that should be a good start there. Okay. So going back to our CPP file, let's do some login. Okay, so we've got that showing us here. Well, we'd make the rest of them. We'll make them warnings. So we'll do you, you, we, player controller, and then we'll do these as warnings. All right, so my float is value is equal. Yeah, there we go. And then for a float, it's percent %f. If you've ever taken a C++ class, this is really similar to print f. So that's a good thing. All right, and then it's my float. And then that should work. Let's see what's mad about text. Float. Warning. Did I misspell something here? Mm. Let's see here. Warning not showing up there. Oh, that's why. For some reason, I ended up with extra, extra brackets there. I don't know why I did that. So, anyways, that will not work. Okay, so we got a float. All right. And then for the uh, integer, send D, do you believe? Double check my notes, make sure I'm not doing the wrong thing. Uh, yeah, percent D. So my int value is equal to percent D, and then it's my int. So these are all pretty simple. Nothing, nothing too terribly taxing. But now when we get to the Boolean, it's going to be a little different. So uh, you can't just sit, you know, put in B like you know, like you're doing a printf. You hit B, and then it's gonna you know chunk something in there. And it's not gonna work. So you want to do it as a string, and then you're gonna wanna take uh, and put in a if statement. So it's gonna be B my bool. Question mark, and then text. And then text and else. That should work. Uh, I did not want a comma there. There you go. So what that's going to do is when it calls this, it's going to check with my bool. And if it's true, it's going to spit out true. If it's false, it's going to spit out false as a string. So that way it can be read into my log. 
Okay, the next one that we're going to run into a lot is going to be um, my uh, um, F vector. So, because, like, you know, you're doing the player's location, right? So, like, you're going to want that. So, Z to two. So, X. That's going to be percent. Float. And then Y is going to be percent. Float. Z is going to be also percent float. Okay. And then for this one, because you have multiple um, variables in here, you got to separate them out by a comma. So you're going to do my vector x, comma, my vector y, vector dot v. So what that's going to do is that's going to pull those three those three portions out of my vector and put it where I want them in my log. Now the next one that you're going to want to know is going to be the um, you know I want like so I have you know for example this would be something I would use when doing my actor or whatever's location. But I also want to know like what actor is who that is like when I'm logging it you know like I might want to know the difference from one actor and another I mean I may have like, you know five actors a hundred actors a thousand whatever I want to know which one is is in the log like who am I referencing so what I can do with that is I can do this right here I can say let's see, my Again, string. So what I can do is I can grab reference to this player controller, and I can say get name. And what that's going to do is that's going to spread out the name of this player controller's instance in, into my log, and then we will be happy with that. Okay, so provided everything we just did worked, uh, we should get to the other end and see something nice. So let's start without debugging. See if everything compiles. Okay. Oh, I hit play. Tilda. Log. Check our output log. Okay, so here it is. So here's our float. Here's our integer. Here's our Boolean value. Here's our vector. And here is the player controller's name right there. So see, it's like player controller PC uh, C underscore zero. So that'd be you know, player controller zero. So huzzah. Uh, that is logging kind of in a nutshell. Um, uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know, drop them down in the comments. Let me know. Um, I'll respond the best I can. Um, just like everybody else, I'm learning too. Um, hopefully you got something worthwhile out of this, and uh, I enjoy seeing you in the next video.